my mother always told me, don't talk to strangers. So I'm going to think we're all going to meet out there later, and I think you should just know a little bit about me, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about me. People ask me how old I am, and I tell them I'm 51 American. <laughs> my father was English, my mother was Cree. I was born on the One Arrow Reserve and moved to Winnipeg in 1963. And when I moved here, my life changed quite a bit. I started hanging around with gangs. We had a gang here. It was called the Damaged Goods. And we had a wonderful, wonderful life. And I figured out someplace along the way how to get out of that gang. I decided I was going to play music. Somebody showed me how to play music. And OK, uh, my brother said, you know, you're kind of pitchy. And he said, but don't worry about that. It's more about what you pitch than whether you're pitchy or not. You got potential. My mother told me I had potential. So I went to CKY once because CKY was producing a show called Christmas in a Global Village. Now, what does that mean? That means we're in Winnipeg, right? That means we have all sorts of ethnic groups. And there was a song that they needed a, an Indian guy to sing. It was called the Huron Carol. And they used to call us Indians back then. <laughs> and I went into the studio, and the guy says, have you heard, heard of this song? I said, no. He said, can you read music? I said, yeah. So he handed me the sheet music, and I took it to my friend who could read music, and he showed me how to play the song. <laughs> Potential. Fast forward, I ended up, at some point, going to find my fortune, and I moved to Toronto, and I found myself living in a hole in the ground beneath the house of the guy that dealt me drugs. You don't mind me if I tell you this stuff, right? You don't mind, right? And you're probably wondering how I got out of that hole. Well, the Creator sent me a couple of angels, and one of them was worse off than me. So I decided, for whatever reason, I was going to help this guy, and it changed my life. I woke up like that. I could breathe, I stopped being a slave. It was amazing what happened to me because I became addicted to something else. It was saving lives. I became a vampire of love. <laughs> and I had to find places to go where I could actually help others because it was saving my life. So I did, I went to this place called Council Fire. It was like the Friendship Center, right? They were helping people and I said, you know, I need the help. And she said, there's Millie Redmond, she said, well, you came to the right place. I said, no, no, you don't understand. I need to help people. And she said, can you do hampers? I said, yeah, hampers are my specialty. <laughs> How many do you need? She said, 500. I went, uh-oh. So I thought, okay, well, if that's the case, maybe I better think of something else. So I decided that I was going to call some friends of mine, and we were going to throw a concert, and that was going to be the deal, and we were going to raise enough money to buy the food. Well, it didn't quite work out exactly like that. Uh, we didn't raise enough money to buy 500 hampers, but we did raise awareness, right? So there was a lot of potential. And the awareness had cars and trucks lined up for a mile bringing food to Council Fire. You see, so it didn't matter that I was born on a reserve, that I ran with gangs, that I was addicted to drugs. It didn't matter. You know why? Because I had potential. See, we all have a song. The Creator gave us a song, and we all have a song, and we all have to sing it. We have to be proud. It makes us strong. It's a musical compass that's forged by love and compassion and wellness. We all have a path. We do. We all have a path. You have to find yours, and when you do, He'll walk it with you. And you have to remember that the earth is our mother. And that the land was conceived in the cradle before man. So we have to remember that. And we have to remember that as the sun and the stars and the moon give light, Mother Earth gives life. And we must protect her.
We are, we are, we are, we are. We are, we are, we are. We are, we are, we are. You can sing along. We are, we are. Okay. Maybe not that song. Maybe you know this one. Let's try this. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true faith and love in all our sons command. With glowing hearts we see the light, the true north strong and true from far. Bernie, he used to sing that song, and he started like this. Oh, Canada, your home's on native land. <laughs> Thank you.